Hi everyone, thanks for coming back in for a video. We're going to do the final, the fifth, the last haul from Chicago. I am so excited to bring you the rest of this. I've, um, I know I've drawn it out a little bit, but I do like to take my time with some of these items and show them to you with a little bit of explanation and detail as to why I picked them up and so forth. So I hope you're enjoying this content. I did do a playlist. This one will be included in the playlist in a couple of days. So I hope you take the time to watch it. I will link it in the comment section if you haven't seen it. If you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for being here. And I want you to know that you've arrived at the right place if you love jewelry as much as I do. So welcome and let's get started. I have a thing for hearts. I really do love them, especially these old rhinestone style. I actually have one here that I had pinned on my background. I love to pin them during Valentine's, get all of my beautiful collection of hearts and put them on and put them in my background. And I thought this one was especially nice. There is no signature on it. The way they place the two hearts, they're usually a little bit more side by side. And I thought this one was very, very nicely done. And most of these brooches, I don't know, they've gone up on me. So I'm not even remembering how much I paid for that one. A few things I did get at a pretty good price and some things were a lot higher than I wanted to pay for them. Beautiful deco style brooch. Oh my gosh, I adore this one. It is so pretty. This is like a glass cabochon. This glass, it's beautifully done. These are just little pipes. Look at that. And it just totally screamed deco to me. So I had to have that one. Really quite big too, it, if you can see. There, it takes up quite a bit of space on my hand. So I really, really like that one. I failed to show you the rings of the day. People do ask me to show them the rings that I'm wearing. I'm wearing a spinel. I'm wearing a sterling, sterling silver spinel ring. I'm wearing my wrap ring. I'm wearing an enamel ring that I found in a jar. It's just a little costume piece, but I really like it. I think it's really cute. And then here's another little honker that I found in the jar recently and I thought it was really well made. It's a nice glass rhinestone. The next thing I got was this amazing cameo. I really like this cameo. I don't know how they put it on here though because it almost looks like they attached this bail part to it. It is an intaglio which is like a reverse carving there. It's in very good condition. It's quite large. And I think what they did with the chain is they didn't have a clasp. This reminds me of a Monet chain or Napier. It's a really well-made serpentine style chain. But all the rhinestones are here. And this cameo is prong set in there. She's beautiful. Hope you can see her pretty well there. I really like this. So I was a little... Um, Surprised not to find a maker on it. No maker at all. And again, I am a little puzzled by the way they placed that veil there. They did a great job of it, though. So uh, it's just that when you wear it as a brooch, this will not be hidden. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. I think it was supposed to be a brooch only, and I think someone just decided to, to have fun with it and turn it into a pendant. All right, then I could not resist these. I love accessories in the hair, and these are little bobby pins. They do look vintage to me. They're made really nicely, and they just look very cute. Very cute on. So you could wear them both on one side or one on each side, or you could kind of bring them together to make a, a special look like that. So really cute. I, I've never seen anything like that, so I had to have those. Then I got this cute sterling silver, patriotic, and this one, I guess they're crystals. Crystals are not, but the, it is marked sterling, and it is sterling silver. It's really pretty. It's got red, clear, and blue stones, crystals or something. Then I got this really cool. Another deco looking piece to me. This is a Monet. Monet had quite a few resurgent deco periods. They issued a lot of deco during their 
heydays, I think in like the 60s and 70s, and actually 70s is considered their top days for, for when they made their most profit. And I know I read about them having a, um, a few deco revival periods, one being in the 70s. So this is really nice. The mark on this one is the capital M only and the trademark before that. So it's a very, very nice piece. I really like it. It's in good condition as well. I'm sure it's just a resin cabochon of some sort, but I really like that. Pick that one up as well. Then I found a Napier. This is a really pretty gold ID bingle, well, cuff. You could easily get that engraved, and it's just really pretty. I like it. It plays well with my others there. You don't have to get it engraved. It's still pretty regardless whether you want to put your initials or someone's name on there, but it's a very, very nice bracelet. Then I got this one. I thought it looked like an X. <laughs> I thought it looked like an X for, you know, hugs and kisses. But then I realized, and these are really pretty marquees. Crystals or rhinestones, some round stones there. But it looks like a bowling, a bowling angel. I think that's what it is. So it's an angel because she has a halo. And I think this is Avon. Let me check again. No, I think it's Jerry's. There may not be anything <laughs> Honestly, it looks like it says Jerry's right there in the corner, right here at the top. Let me let you take a look at it. But now I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, it's really pretty. It's in great condition. And it's a nice little piece. It really is cute. Then this bracelet was really pretty. These are little rock crystals. And really just nicely done. I like it. It's in bronze. I thought that one was really cute. That plays well with these too. Everything plays well with these. I really like that. I may just leave that on. Then I forgot to show you this one the other day when I was showing you. I don't remember which tray it was. It was either three or four. I don't remember. But this is a Brighton. It's a gorgeous Brighton. It's in amazing condition like new. And this is like a smoky quartz in there. You know, I'm looking at it under these lights and it looks like smoky quartz. But when I first saw it, it looked black. Now I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it under the daylight. In the daylight. But isn't that beautiful? I really like it. It reminded me of those mid-century watches that the ladies wore with the black straps. My mother's best friend had one. It was a cluster of diamonds. It was so beautiful. I coveted that thing since I was like five years old. And I did find one once in a pawn shop. But it wasn't working. And even the gentleman that was selling it to me or tried... I tried to buy it was it didn't work so he was kind of convinced me that it would cost me quite a bit to get it fixed but I always wanted one I still do and actually someone was it I don't remember if it was gas or someone put out a very similar one uh, a watch with, with this type of strap but of course it didn't have diamonds but that is what it reminded me of. And, of course, Brighton makes beautiful jewelry. This one's in great condition. And I picked that up in Chicago as well. Picked up some more vintage enamel. I love the vintage enamel. This is a Trafari. I think it's a Crown Trafari. If I'm not mistaken, I have a matching necklace. Yes, these are the Crown Trafari. They're so pretty. They also remind me of the um, Monet collection I used to have in this white I sold it all. Aren't those pretty? Delicate. They're not big. They're not big at all, but of them. Look at that really pretty design at the top as well. Dimensional. Love those. Then I fell in love with this beautiful thing. I don't think these are um, amethyst. They're glass. Some crystals on the leaves there. It's got a simple C clasp on it very pretty and then it's got a bale so you can wear that as a pendant and I just love the great motifs they're so beautiful especially when they incorporate some color in them I think this is a beautiful piece I cannot believe it's not signed either it's so well done it's just such a pretty piece to wear as a necklace 
That is so pretty. I love it as a brooch, but I really do want to wear it as a pendant as well. Very cool. All pin set, all glass, excellent condition. I love the simple C class. Those are so easy to put on. And then I got these. I could not resist these. First of all, I thought this was a pendant. <laughs> I was like, that is so pretty. That has to be Harry Potter or something. And I just thought it was amazing. And I, I'm honestly, I don't believe it would look bad as a, I don't believe it would be outrageous to wear this as a pendant on a, on a torque. <laughs> but it is a Christmas ornament from Disney the Nutcracker, The Four Realms. That is so cool. Uh, that's just such a beautiful piece there. And it is marked Disney. It retails for $16. I've seen them on eBay. I don't know when they put them out. I've seen them. I saw them on eBay for about $20, but I only paid $0.99 cents for them or a dollar, a dollar, $1.20. And then this is the other one from the same movie or whatever. They're so well made and so pretty. So either way, I knew what they were when I when I saw this one and then I realized they were indeed um, Christmas ornaments, but I could not resist that owl. So cool. This is a vintage Coro. Here's the signature on the back. Very nicely done. Very well made. I love the simplicity of it. It's just really nicely done. Very simple. What is that? A dogwood? Not sure. Beautiful though. And I could not get over the condition of it. It's just amazing vintage coro here love that then oh i love cloisonne especially with different motifs i often see like the elephant or others but i've never seen a seashell that actually looks a little bit like a chinese lantern so i love that one it's so heavy i'm afraid it's gonna fall right off of here it is really weighty and pretty design is on both sides Two face design there, love that. Very weighty piece. I really love this. It's so nice. Vintage cloisonne. And I found this one and I could not stop thinking about this one. It's a look how tiny that is. Well, I just could not stop thinking about it. It was so sparkly under the lights of the, of the thrift store. I was like, those look like diamonds. They really, really do. And uh, it was $14. It was $14. And I thought, wow, I look at those teeny tiny ones set so nicely. But no, I came home and put it on the diamond tester and it really only went up to quartz. So I guess it's some kind of quartz crystal because they're super, super shiny and just amazing. I have to still test them on my other diamond tester, but I don't, I don't know. They just look amazingly beautiful. So I will let you know. Plus, I just love the motif, the crown, the crest, the whatever that's called. And I fell in love. So I had to have it. On this crystal, this one is so pretty. I love this. And this is on sterling. And I just fell in love with this little crystal quartz. First of all, these black ones are amazing too. They kind of articulate as you're wearing them, so they have a lot of dimension to them. And this is like a double cone of some sort. It's just amazing. It's a really a pretty one. It is a vintage piece. It is on a jump ring there that is marked sterling. So the chain is sterling on this one. And this one was just on a little rack just beautiful i really think they overlooked this one because it was with all the little kids jewelry and everything so love that and finally i fell in love with this you know i love the vintage charm bracelets oh i hadn't even noticed uh, i was gonna say it looks like a heart no it's one of those old style clasp it is a sterling all sterling bracelet but i've always loved these little silhouette type charms but I've never seen a bracelet with so many of them and then each one is followed by a heart they're just so interesting so we have Therese Patricia and then this one says 
that's, I guess, who they were engaged to. Are they married? Because it says Mary Ann and Jack. And then here's Johnny. And, of course, it has the years in the back. And this one says Beryl Joe, 12, 31, 21. And then this one says Arlene and Joe. I think that's when they got married. Joan and Maurice. Just amazing. The years are on some of them. 21, 42, 52, 53, 52, 54, 55. Just on and on and on. And look at that beautiful double curb sterling bracelet. I think it's so pretty. It's so different. So that was a nice buy. Look at that. David. Amazing. Just 48 is this one. I really fell in love with it. This was another beautiful studio art piece that I just fell in love with this thing. I don't know. It's just so artsy and pretty. And here it is. It reminded me of a like a carnival ride or something. It's so dimensional and beautiful. Look at this. It looks fabulous on and it moves and it's just incredible and this is the mark on it maybe you recognize it i don't know i mean i i don't know it may not be a true studio piece but it's definitely that style and there it is there it looks like two people there and that's the back of it no mark on it but it's an incredible incredible dimensional piece to say the least so there it is there I, I just love it I think it's so unique and so pretty look at that sculpture I hope you enjoyed the video. Please come back and watch another one soon. I'm going to be doing quite a few videos for you in August. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. And I, if you didn't give it a thumbs up on your way in, please do it on your way out. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.